How's it going guys? It's Kay Cars and today we are taking my Jeep Cherokee XJ to its first ever car show. So of course I know what you guys are probably thinking, right? It's a Jeep. It doesn't really belong at a car show. It's not really a car. But as you guys also know, I no longer have an actual car. So we just stole the Challenger's Cat Pack recently. So that car is completely gone. It was a great car, great experiences. But like I said, it's gone. We sold it. And I still have to wait around five to six months for the Challenger replacement to actually get here. So as of right now, we are stuck with the Jeep Cherokee XJ, which I can't complain about. I love this Jeep. And it's going to be a very cool experience to see the kind of reactions and hopefully appreciation that we get for the XJ at this car show. Now I have been to this car show in the past with the Challenger and what I really like about that car show is that it has a lot of different diversity of cars and like different vehicles for example. So it's not only specific to you know supercars, it's not specific to muscle cars or anything like that. Their motto pretty much is if it's cool bring it out. So that's what I love about that car show. Last time I went there were anything from supercars to you know Honda Civics to I did see an XJ last time as well. I saw an old Bronco, an old FJ, a huge monster truck. So it really is and kind of like an all-inclusive, all-around car show or a vehicle show as you want to call it. So I'm very excited to take you guys along today. But first what we're going to do with the XJ is actually detail it really quick. So I did wash this thing a few weeks ago, but I did take it through, you know, some minor, you know, puddles, mud puddles, whatever you want to call it. So it's not the cleanest and it's also a little bit dusty. So let's go ahead and detail this thing up and then head to the car show. I wanted to quickly give you guys a walk around of my XJ here and just show you what I'm talking about. See all the dust that I was talking about is mostly just on the hood here. I'm not sure how well it's going to show up, but you can probably see that right there on camera. And then as for the rest of the Jeep, you know, I was talking about, you know, driving through those tiny mud puddles which as you can kind of tell, the tires here are a little bit muddy and there is some mud right there as well. Uh, you know, nothing too crazy there at all, but if you look down here on the side, you know, just a little bit of, you know, just like water that's splashed up in the body that I want to get cleaned up. So to be honest, I really should be doing this at a car wash, but I'm going to take the lazy route and not take it through the car wash. I'm just going to use some detail spray and just wipe it off really quick. I know I might be getting some hate for that because you really shouldn't be using detail spray and just wiping off a vehicle that hasn't been, you know, washed in a while. But for this, if this was brand new paint, I for sure would not be doing this. But since this paint is, you know, 21 years old, I'm really not going to be too concerned about it. It's not going to, you know, damage the paint right away. And I'm just looking for a quick little detail job. So let's go ahead and see how that works out. So like I said, we're going to be using this Adams Polishes detail spray. So let's see how this works out on the hood. Well, I'm not sure how well this is going to show up on camera, but I did notice that right away the side that I just wiped down is much smoother. So you can actually see on the little microfiber here all that dust that we just wiped off. So let's go ahead and continue cleaning up the hood. the hood all detailed up here as you can see looks much smoother than before and you can see on the microfiber towel here all this dust that we just cleaned up so i'm going to go ahead and continue cleaning up the entire jeep here and let's see if we can get it all clean walk around of the driver's side here as you can see i do think it does look a whole lot better right now definitely less dusty and we did get rid of some of that splashed up water and mud now the bottom of the doors here could use a little bit of body work so this right here is actually not like dirty it's just like service rust that's starting to form right there 
And this is a pretty common area for uh, surface rust to actually form on these old Jeeps. Of course, there's also a good amount of rock chips here as well that we need to get fixed up. But overall, I do really think for 21 year old paint, this is actually in very good condition. And then here on this section, this is actually brand new paint, or it's about a year old. So whenever we did get the rear little quarter panels replaced, they actually repainted this whole entire section of the body as well. So you can kind of tell the difference there between this section and right here. Maybe not so much, but in person it definitely does look a little bit better here on this side. So once we go ahead and wipe off the entire body, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off the plastic parts here. I don't wanna do this just yet, but I wanna keep the microfiber as fresh as possible for the paint so I don't get all this mud and then, you know, carry it onto the paint. So let's go ahead and detail up the passenger side. I went ahead and got a brand new microfiber cloth just so I wasn't using the already dirty one. So let's go ahead and continue with the passenger side. the paint wiped down we're gonna go ahead and give you guys a quick walk around of the passenger side here looks pretty good pretty glossy in my opinion so what I'm gonna do now is actually wipe off the remaining areas that are still pretty dirty such as the mud flaps wheels and the inside of the wheel wells right here now I also did bring my Adams polishes undercarriage spray that I'm probably gonna try out and see what it looks like on the Jeep I have used it on the Challenger a few times in the past whenever I still had it and I was very happy with the results that it gave me so I'm going to go ahead and try it out on the Jeep today as well. done wiping off the Jeep and I wanted to give you guys a finished product here show you how it turned out and I do want to reiterate this is not the proper way to actually you know like clean a car or a Jeep I really should have taken this thing through the car wash first because you really don't want to be wiping down a vehicle that hasn't fully been washed because you could risk scratching your paint and like I said the only reason I did it like that today is because you know if this were a brand new paint I definitely would not be doing that but since it's 21 year old paint I did a spray ceramic coating on this thing I think it should be okay if I just do it one time and I'm also kind of in a rush today so you know that's my excuse for doing it the wrong way but basically I wanted to show you guys the finished product here wheels look pretty good I also did wipe down the inside of the mud flaps because they did have a little bit of mud on them as well and then of course the paint turned out good as well if you do look at it in direct sunlight you can kind of see a little bit of streaks here not sure how well it's gonna show up on camera but there's a little bit right here on top you can kind of see where I wiped it a little bit here on the window as well but overall just for a quick detail job I think it turned out pretty well and of course passenger side wheels look pretty good as well I also did wipe off the uh, mud flaps back here too same thing in the front uh, I did forget to do the outside of the mud flap so I'm gonna go ahead and do that really quick right now tires still do have a little bit of mud inside the tread there as you can see so of course taking it through the car wash would have gotten that off much better but now I wanted to show you guys how the undercarriage spray works. All right, so here's what the undercarriage bottle actually looks like here. So basically this is supposed to be used on, you know, the inside of the wheel wells, like right here. Like I said, this product actually did work pretty well to just make it look really clean on the Challenger whenever I used it a while ago. So I'm gonna test it out on the Jeep here and see how it goes. Not sure how well it's showing up, but here you can see the inside of the wheel well is actually pretty muddy. Let's go ahead and see how this works. So unfortunately, I think I just broke this actual spray bottle. So if you look, 
it's not really spraying how it's supposed to it's barely even coming out so i'm not really sure if i'm going to be able to test this out but for the little bit that did spray out it does look pretty good but unfortunately of course with the broken spray bottle it's not really going to work so unfortunately you can't use this today all right so i did manage to get just a little bit sprayed on here on the inside of the wheel well I wanted to show you guys how it turned out here. Obviously, if the spray bottle was working much better, it would be a lot more uniform and it would, you know, actually look good. But, you know, for the areas that did get sprayed here, you can see it does give it like a more black look to it, which I really do like. It makes it look a lot cleaner. As you can see, since the spray bottle wasn't really working, it kind of just looks like it, you know, like splashed all over the place. Same thing on the front there. You can see the difference of the area that didn't get sprayed here on top versus the area that I did spray. So, you know, once again, if the spray bottle was working better like it's supposed to, then it would be a lot more uniform. But there you can kind of see a quick look at how the Atmos Polishes undercarriage spray works. Also, something that I probably will do is actually just wipe this down just so it's not, you know, it doesn't just look like it got splashed a lot. All right, so let's see how it turned out right after I wiped it down. So there you can see it does look a lot more uniform now, now that I actually wiped it down. And it doesn't just look like it just got splashed. So I think it looks a whole lot better like that. Right after I wiped it down, it looks a lot more uniform of course. So don't mind all the service rust there. Um, still, you know, stuffy in the works. Sometime in the future to get all that fixed up again. but. I do think the wheel well does look a whole lot better now that I wiped it down. I'll show you guys the driver's side. So same thing here. Just looks a whole lot more uniform than before when I just like splashed on that undercarriage spray. So yeah, I think it does look a whole lot better. And you know, indirect sunlight you can definitely tell that the Jeep is, you know, still pretty dirty, especially there on the windshield. Not sure if it's gonna show up here. But you can probably see that right there how it kind of just looks really streaky there on the windshield then of course the roof you can still see all the dust on there and then compared to the hood here i think the hood turned out pretty good it does still have some imperfections like just a bunch of rock chips basically so yeah that's basically the whole jeep so now that we gave the jeep a quick little detail let's go ahead and head to the car show
so we are now back from the car show and unfortunately I wasn't able to actually vlog while we were there because there was a bunch of live music and you guys would not have been able to hear me talk but I have to say it was actually a lot of fun being able to take my old XJ out to a car show like that and I actually did get to see another XJ as well it was actually the pre-97 version of the XJ of course I parked right next to it whole bunch of fun a bunch of other Rhinelers as well including a TJ and a bunch of more JLs as well and of course seeing all the supercars there as well was a great experience too so that was actually my first time ever seeing a Lexus LFA you know, that car is super popular has a really big following and you know it's really cool to actually see one in person for the first time ever and then of course you know all the other supercars that were there like the 720s 570s a bunch of other you know Huracans Lamborghinis it was all just a all around great car show a bunch of you know old classic off-road vehicles like those land cruisers uh you know the old jeeps as well so you know overall a little bit of everything old and new you know off-road on-road drag car street car all in one show so it was a very cool show and i am definitely planning on going back so i will say i actually did see the vehicle that i'm getting as the challenger replacement which is very cool he also did start it up and rev it for us which was amazing sounded very good um, i also asked him to see what the um you know what the exhaust valves sound like when they're closed and open and you know the difference was not actually as big as i was expecting you know as for just idling but whenever he revved it you could definitely tell that there was a huge difference in terms of volume so definitely one thing that i love about that new vehicle is that the you know the exhaust does have valves you just press a button and you can either pick you know quiet or loud so very excited for that new vehicle to come in and like i said unfortunately we will have to wait you know they told me five to six months for the vehicle to actually be delivered but you know it's going to be worth the wait and i think you guys are definitely going to enjoy the new vehicle for the challenger replacement and you know like i've been saying in my previous videos you guys probably all know exactly what it is because i have been talking about it quite a bit you know before i actually sold the challenger i did talk about this vehicle you know many times so if you guys have been following up with the videos you definitely know exactly what i'm talking about but you know i definitely am planning to keep it a surprise until i actually do get the vehicle delivered so definitely look out for that video really excited for all the content that's going to be coming up with that vehicle as well gonna be able to do a whole lot more trips with that vehicle do a lot more exploring you know of course mods as well i definitely will want to enjoy it completely stock for a while i definitely also am planning on modding it a little bit as well you know we, we can take it racing to the drag strip you know just it's just an all-around amazing vehicle in my opinion so super excited for that to get delivered and like i said five to six months is what they told me so you know just have to wait now but like i said overall very good show um the xj was you know it wasn't super out of place but i will say most of the cars there were kind of like performance oriented like sports cars um, a lot of Audis, a lot of Mustangs, Challengers, and Camaros. Uh, and then, of course, supercars as well. But there also were a few Jeeps in the show as well. So, like I said, super cool show. I definitely am planning on going back. So, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed that quick little video of me wiping down the XJ to get it cleaned up for that car show. Hope you guys like those quick little videos of the actual car show itself as well. And if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure to drop those down in the comment section below. And if you guys have any video suggestions for videos you'd like to see in the future, also drop those down in the comment section below. And if you guys like this video or found it entertaining, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.